As a graphic designer and creator, I rely on Adobe Firefly to turn my ideas into product ads quickly and affordably, while keeping every creative decision in my hands. In this video, I will show you how to build a concept for an ad in Firefly boards, generate your keyframes, and then bring everything to life with Firefly's AI image to video model. This video is sponsored by Adobe, but the workflow I will walk you through is one I have been using in my projects for months, and everything I share here is based on my own experience, thoughts, and opinions. Probably the most important thing for a workflow like this is to get your keyframes right before you even start generating any videos. You can see on my screen the five images that was necessary to create this product ad, and you can also see the four prompts at the bottom that I used. Each time I used a start frame and an end frame. So for the first clip, I used these two frames. For the second clip, I used these two. Then this is the third clip and the fourth clip. By having the last frame of one clip match the first frame of the next clip in the sequence, we can get a smooth transition between the clips and it can feel like the entire video was made with a single take. Before I show you how I generate the video clips with the Firefly AI image to video model, first I wanted to show you this board where I was generating the assets required for this ad. I love to use Firefly boards for ideation, but it's also great to record my process and to be able to come back later and take a look at what I've done. So here, for instance, for the actual product itself, which I also generated for this example, I started off with a slightly different looking barefoot wet shoe that then started to change with different patterns that I experimented with, different coloring, and then I ended up creating this one. I even included some water drops on it to make it work better for the commercial. Now I wanted the video to start on the water and for this I needed something that looks really inviting and colorful and you can see my prompt there on the left that I ended up using and generated a couple of different variations with the current Firefly image model 5. And I ended up choosing this one because it had the best composition for what I wanted to achieve. Then I also needed to generate the environment for what we will see once the camera surfaces and goes above the seawater. So we can see again, we have similar compositions here. I was experimenting with slightly different prompts and I ended up generating this one here on the right, which I ended up using for the last frame of the first clip. Finally, I also needed the product name to appear in this 3D coral reef inspired text. Again, I experimented with a couple of different options here. And finally, I ended up generating this version, which I used in my videos based on this text that I prepared in Photoshop and used as a reference image. Now, just so you can see how this works, I'm going to hit generate image. I'm going to use this text here as my reference and I'm going to drop in my prompt. Also notice I'm using the latest version of Firefly image model and then while it's generating, I just wanted to mention that the biggest advantage of using this model is that with this you can make refinements and edits to existing images instead of always generating something completely new. So in terms of your prompt, you have to say what you want to change or want to achieve based on the references that you include. So this is the generated result I got. And I could easily further refine and iterate this with the same technique using this as my new reference. Now to have even more control, it is recommended to also set things up in a Photoshop document where you can keep things layered. Like I have the backdrop that we have above the seawater in two different versions, one where the water is more calm. I have another one where there's more water splashing happening in the foreground. Then I have the product itself that I can place in this environment. And it's worth mentioning that I used the harmonize option in Photoshop to get this look more as part of this environment. Then I have a dolphin jumping out in the background. And by the way, this is also fully layered. I can move elements of it around. And I also have the text, which is using that reference that we've seen before. And this is the generated version of it. Now, having everything prepared in layers allows me to later come back and perhaps change the shoe if I want to use a completely different product or change the text 
or add any other elements that I need based on the feedback that I get from my client. Now let's see how we actually generate the videos once we have these frames set up. So we click on generate video here at the bottom and I'm going to use the commercially safe Firefly video model which is trained entirely on licensed data such as Adobe Stock and public domain content where the copyright has expired. And this of course is crucial if you want your videos to be used commercially but also at the same time I always recommend to be transparent about the use of AI both with your client and also with your audience. So I have my prompt prepared. I'm just going to paste that in from this board and I'm going to use the first frame that we have here and the last frame that we have next to it. And notice how the aspect ratio automatically locks into vertical based on these reference images. But of course we can change that easily. And that's pretty much all we needed so we can already hit generate. And one thing that I love about the Firefly video model is that it's very fast so we will get results very quickly. So it took around 10-15 seconds for this video to be generated and we can actually preview this directly here within Firefly board so we can just drop it here and play it. It's looking quite good so the camera dips back into the water before coming out. The only thing I don't like is that one of these rocks appears out of nowhere here at the end. So let me just play this one more time. It's coming up, then dips back down and then comes up again and there's that rock appearing at the end. Now if you want more control and settings it's actually better to switch over to the Adobe Firefly video generator where you have options for instance for the resolution which in this case I want to keep the highest, so 1080p. Just like before I can include my first and last frames. Now in case you are not using a first or last frame you can actually include composition reference which could even be a video and you have additional options like camera movements, style of the video and even a couple of additional settings like transparent background which can be extremely useful if you want to generate things like the title separately and then composite things together later in applications like Adobe Premiere. But in this case I'm just going to stick to using my first and last frame. Now if I have only my first frame added I can still control the camera movement so I can have any of these presets selected from here. But once I add my last frame as well Notice how the camera settings were removed. I'm just going to drop my prompt in here and let's hit generate. So here is our generated video. Let's test it out. Yeah, the movement of the fish look quite realistic and the way we surface is also looking quite good. Once again, let's just play this. It's quite a complex motion here. The only thing that I don't like again is that the rocks are appearing out of nowhere. So if we go back a little bit here, there are actually no boulders to be seen until we reach the surface. And besides that I would also prefer if the camera just simply moved up and didn't dip back down into the water. And these are all things that you can refine and specify in your prompt. But once you have a clip that you're happy with you can hit download and then you can even edit all your clips together directly within Firefly. You just have to use the Firefly AI video editor this option right here where you will be able to start a new project and upload all the clips that you generated and here you can see I place all the four video clips next to each other and we can play and see how they transition from one to another so that's the first clip we are switching to the second clip where the shoe is falling down the dolphin is jumping out then we have the text revealing on the top and notice that here this tagline I added right here within the video editor as a text object. And when we continue playing this we see the final clip where the crab and the seagull appears and interacting with our scene. And at this point the only last thing missing is a soundtrack and sound effects. And for this you would want to move to the generate soundtrack workspace within Firefly where you can upload the entire sequence that you put together and Firefly will automatically generate a prompt based on the video saying we should have a playful energetic song with electronic tropical house style for an advertisement product promotion. That's spot on so let's generate this and we will get four options that we can listen to here at the bottom. Sounds good let's see the second one. 
more cheerful. But of course, if you want to change anything in your prompt, you can include additional keywords for things like the vibe of the video, the style, the purpose, and also you can adjust the energy level, the tempo, and even the duration in case you want to make the soundtrack longer than your current clip. Besides the soundtrack, we can also generate sound effects where you can specify exactly what you want, maybe seagulls calling and the duration eight seconds. Let's just try that. So once I generate this, we will get a result quite quickly. And again, four variations. Sounds pretty good already. And this is what we get once we put everything together into our timeline. Now we could just download the final video from here and if we needed maybe additional color grading we could do that in Premiere. And there you have it, a complete product ad created from static images all inside Adobe Firefly. Let's quickly recap what we covered. We started by setting up our concept in Firefly boards, generating our keyframes and building a visual storyboard. Then we moved into the image to video model one of the fastest AI video generators out there, where we experimented with various settings and style controls to bring our vision to life. From there, we jumped into Firefly's online editor to sequence our clips, add text and taglines right inside the timeline. And finally, we elevated the entire ad with custom background music and sound effects, all generated within Firefly to match our motion cues perfectly. The best part, the entire workflow took minutes, not hours or days. No expensive equipment or complicated software was necessary. Just you, your creative vision and Adobe Firefly giving you full control over every aspect of your video ad, from concept to completion. Whether you are a designer, content creator or marketer working on tight deadlines and budgets, Firefly's AI image to video tools let you produce high quality, commercially safe motion content faster than ever before. So grab any static image, fire up Adobe Firefly and start creating product ads that move.